Hey there everybody, welcome back to the RC Garage. Today we're going to start building the SCX-10 2 We're going to be building the differentials, getting the axles put together, and probably the links for today. And that'll probably be about it. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Alright, first bag we're going to need is Plastics 1 and Bag A. Now bag A has some thread lock and a little bit of grease for you, which I'm not going to be using any of this. I have my own grease here and I'm going to be using my own thread lock. You've got your hardware you're going to need and some bearings for the axle and differential. And then your actual differentials here and then your axle shafts. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little better. Let's get started. You're going to need these little M2 8 millimeter long screws to attach the ring gear to the locker. So you're going to need six of those. And they use a one and a half millimeter hex driver. Now you're going to want to put a little Loctite on these. I like using this gel Permatex Loctite. It seems to hold really good and it's a lot easier to work with than the liquid. You can just roll out a little bit, stick the tip of your screws in there. Now for the bearings, you use the 7 by 14 by 3.5 millimeter bearing. It's the one with the open races. And those will go on the differentials. Alright, there's one. Pretty simple. Three bolts and you're done. I'm going to go ahead and throw the other one together. And I'll bring you all back when we get ready to do the next step. Alright. We got those two built. Now we're going to move on to assembling the axle. You'll find the axle housing in the plastics one bag. Now you're going to need the differential covers and the two axle housings for now. All right, so to assemble this, it's really pretty straightforward and easy. You'll need the five by fourteen by five millimeter bearing. It's just an all silver bearing. That'll go inside for your pinion. And on the back side of that, you'll put one of the 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearings with the plastic bearing cover. It goes on the back side like that. Now, what I like to do, take a little bit of marine grease, squirt that right down the side there before dropping in the differential. Using these syringes filled with the grease is a lifesaver. Really keeps the mess down. You don't get your hands as dirty so you don't get grease all over your parts. And you can put it exactly where you want it. You got a good glob of grease down in there. Now you drop the differential in. I like to give it a little turn to spread some of that grease around to see if I need to add more. And you can see that some of it's not getting grease on the ring gear. So now I can take this, stick it right down in there. Just squirt a little bit more grease in there. Now everything's got a good coating of grease. I like to just go ahead and cover everything. Help keep some of that water out of there. I'll go ahead and drop the differential cover on. Now this is a tight fit. You have to get it lined up really good. There we go. And it pushes right in there. And then you take your 
M2.6 by 18 millimeter bolts and they thread in from the back. And these will use your standard 2 millimeter hex driver. Now you want to push kind of hard to get this started because the plastic diff cover is not threaded. So it takes a little bit of force to get it started. Now what I like to do is just tighten it down just to where it touches the plastic housing and get them all started in about that deep before I tighten them down all the way. Now that you got them all in there pretty good, just go around, slowly tighten them all up until they're snug. You don't want to over tighten them with these machine screws into this plastic because it's easy to strip the threads out of them. So you just want to get them snug. Get that diff cover pulled tight up against the housing. And that's one. Now I will be doing a little bit of detail work on this differential cover once I get to the painting stage. But right now I just want to get them together. But I'm going to go ahead and throw the other one together because it's the same process. And when we're ready to put the knuckles and lockouts on, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, got both of the housings ready. Now we're ready to put together the rest of the components. We're going to be starting with the front axle. It really doesn't matter. These both are exactly the same. So whichever one you want to use for the front, you just grab it. You start out with your seed hubs. Right there is a little indicator of where to line your seed hubs up. And on the seed hub there, you got a little notch. You line up those two notches. And it fits in there perfect. And that way your caster is bright. But before you put those on, you install one of the 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearings. Now if you're holding the axle with the back facing you, you install the C-hub that has the pan hard mount on the right hand side. And you put another bearing on the other side. And there we go. And now you take one of the M3 by 15 millimeter screws and tighten down the C-hub. Now remember, don't tighten it too tight because you don't want to strip out those, those, that plastic. These machine screws and that plastic, it's easy to strip them out. And there you go. Alright, next step, take your knuckles and they go with the link mounts to the top side. They'll go on just like that right there. But first you need to put one of the 10 by 15 by 4 millimeter bearings on the inside. And then you put your front axle in. And then you put one of the 5 by 14 by 4 millimeter bearings on the outside. And then you got these little shoulder bolts, and that's what will attach your steering knuckle to your C-hub, if I can get it to line up. And there's one side ready. I'm going to go ahead and get this all finished up. And I'll bring you back and we'll start on the rear axle. And we're back. Got the front axle all ready. Now we'll move on to putting together a rear axle. It's a lot more simple. A lot less moving parts. 
So what you'll need for this is your two lockouts, your last two 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearings, and the last two button head M3 by 15 millimeter bolts. Now, insert your axle shafts, bearing. And there's the rear axle. Quick and easy. Now we're going to put on the link mounts. They're pretty straightforward. You'll use two bolts, which are the M2.6 by 11. Now when installing these, you want the, the open part here to be at the bottom of your axle housing. You take your bolts and go in from the front. And you have to push kind of hard to get these started. This red plastic seems to be a lot harder than the black. And there's the front axle, ready for links. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw the rear axle together. It's the exact same process as the front. It uses the same hardware and the same part. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that together. And I'll bring you all back when we get ready to start doing the links. Alright, now time to get started on these links. You'll need bag B comes out of the same plastic one bag. This bag is all the hardware you're going to use for your link install. And here's all the links. Now we're going to be starting with the front links. You're going to need some rod ends, and some balls. Now you're going to take the two smallest ones and four of the straight rod ends. All right, up next is a M4 by 20 screw. One end has a hex hole, the other end solid. Now the hex hole side goes pointing out. I like to start them with my finger so I can get them good and straight. And take your two millimeter hex driver and run them in about halfway up the shaft. There's one shaft. Now you want to try to make these as even as possible. And then you move on to the second. Same process. Lock tight. Finger tight them in. There's the second one. Now your next links, the lower links for that, uses the 107 millimeter shafts, which is the longest ones. This will be your steering link here. And it uses two of the curved ones, which is number five on the parts tray here. And you want these to be pointing the same direction and even. Now we install the link balls. Now the ball ends, you want the larger side to be on the same side for both ends. But for the shorter links, you want the larger side on the opposite ends. Now we'll install these on the front axle. That you will need one of the M3 by 20 millimeter bolts and two of the M3 by 15 millimeter bolts. Now I'm going to install the pan hard bar first that way none of these front links are in the way. Now to install the steering links. You take the other short one that you have. It goes on top of the steering knuckle here. And then the larger one goes inside. And there's your front axle fully assembled and ready to be mounted on. Well, this is going to be it for today, guys. I ran out of time. Next week, we'll get on to finishing up the rear axle, get the links installed in this, and then we'll move on and get those shocks built. But as always, guys, if you like this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and haven't already, then please subscribe and join me back here every Friday for more RC fun at the RC Garage. See you guys next time.